This is just a regular old magic finding video involving a man entering a hole 1,000 times. And with an estimated total haul of well over 20 high runes, hell, I'd even go down there again. The drop started off solid, with an early High Lords, followed by a Dracul's Grasp. I ended up finding two of these in total, but it wasn't until run 63 before we had our first big hit, a 9% ED Ethereal Archon Plate. I was surprised to learn that these are valued at around about a Jar rune. It always blows me away how much people are willing to spend on their mercs. My boy Miz, he's lucky if he even gets a treachery. Help me! The next piece of action came on run 69. Ooh, hello? Nope. Nope. Yes! Yes! I mean, it's only 21, but, you know, you see Amaras, you take Amaras. Clearly looking grumpy about it, it took 55 more runs to find our next noteworthy drop. Bassett! This one's on you, Kane! Oh, yes! Oh, Katie, you old dog! On run 190, we were one max damage away from hitting the mother load. This small charm rolled 3% faster run walk, 20 to attack rating, but unfortunately, just two on the max damage. Although still being valued at around about a Vex rune, this little sap sucker is the epitome of almost so good, but still really good. And the same goes for this one, that was just a measly 3 life off being perfect. Whoa. Alright. Again. Run 235 brought us a much less valuable, but equally cool find. It's not always about the high runes. Just most of the time. Hey, phase blade. And we hit the Azzy. No, we cut. Oh, whoa. Is that perfect ED though? I think that's perfect ED. Holy guacamole. That's perfect mana steel as well. Cool. I mean, like, let's be honest, boys. I am absolutely never going to use this. But it's nice to have. And now we have it. And now we've also got this too. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. Oh, wow! <laughs> I later learned that a shocking small charm of good luck can actually go up to 71 on the lightning damage. But I could only find the trade history for one of these, and it went for 10 bear runes, making our little arcing small charm of good luck certainly qualify for the almost so good, but still really good status. <laughs> After firing my cutout guy, I found a beautiful skiller on run 314. Whoa. War cries with 32 life. This is insanely good. Much, much better on hardcore. On run 366, we found an ultra rare unique that I'd love to see get some minor tweaks. Oh, Ogre Gauntlets. 30 to 60 on the ED. 50. Pretty good. I mean, this item is so rare, but it barely ever gets used. I feel like this one would be so much better if it just had IAS on there as well. That's something I'd love to see in this game. Just buffing super rare uniques that don't really get used at all. And somewhat serendipitously, we found another noteworthy unique just two runs later. Hey, Shaco! Now that is a unique item that doesn't have a problem with getting underused. And 135 is an awesome roll. This goes up to 141. I mean, obviously I've already got one, but that is an extra 36 defense. Arguably the most important stat in the game. After recovering from my bout of jaundice, I mean, fixing my camera settings, the next noteworthy drop 
came on run 399. Ooh, Vidangos. 10 to 15, 30 to 40. 15? 15, 38? That's pretty good. And this was promptly followed up by a drop on the very first run of a stream. We want to hit 8 on the lifesteal, we want to hit 20 on the DR. 8? Oh, I should have said 8 on the Mana Steel too. Hell yeah, I was just about to say we should fire up the clips of Bale Pukin. But, uh, alas, we'll have to save them for another shitty roll. <laughs> then just 6 runs later, disaster struck. Scrooge my nooch. Oh, Galrude! Oh no! Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> Right as I said Scrooge by Nooch, we found a Galrood. How the fuck am I gonna edit that out, infantry? Oh shit. Oh well, at least we have a Galrood. This was followed by only the second magic jewel that I've ever highlighted in a video. Oh! Oh! Wait, is this amazing? Is that... Is that amazing? It's GG. I actually have no idea how much this is worth. Let's look it up on Tradery. Recent trades, recent trades. Come on, come on, come on. Load for me. Three jars. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, we're rich. We're single player rich. <laughs> they're trading for three jar runes. And I'm over here being like, is this good? <laughs> Depends if you consider finding three jar runes at once good. I found so many of this next item that at this point, it truly is getting ridiculous. But I don't think it's it's like a it's a ligament in the is that towels? Oh, ho, 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 I seen it! I saw the armor fly up into the air, and I was like, that's either Sigs or towels. This can go one of two ways. I have been playing this game for too long. Towels armor. Low lowish roll on the defense. This goes up to 941 but I'm just happy that I got it right. I'm happy that it's not a six. After the glorious 1515 duel, the unique Hydra bow we found on run 517 became even more exciting. This is amazing because we have one of these, except it only rolled six on the mana steel. We just need to roll higher than six. It rolls six to eight. Seven. It's not an eight, but it's higher than six. Quick math. Run 542 brought us a lightning skiller with a baby bit of life. As you probably already know, these can roll up to 45 on the life. And if you're ever lucky enough to find one, well, then you're rich. 60 runs later, we found the ideal base for a rune word that I absolutely did not need. That's a death base. But I decided to roll it anyway. Purely because I'm essentially a gambling addict who gets a thrill from rolling stuff instead of playing blackjack. Oh, 331. It's not amazing. I also like identifying stuff. Look what we've got here. So we really want to. Two, two. yes, yes. 213, 21. <laughs> it's still a good roll because it got the two, but good to be better. Good to be better. Oh, that's awesome, man. I love this item so much. It's so nostalgic for me. Unfortunately, by this point, I'd already fired my cutout guy. Because we got another one, boys. Whoa! Two off perfect on the life. Two off perfect on the all res. So close to being so good. But still really good. Did I already mention how much I like rolling stuff? Ethereal, 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 ethereal! Yes, four, four, four. Okay, we can roll that. We can roll that. This is it, this is the one. Give me the four, give me the four. Oh, oh, I knew it, I knew it! I knew we'd get the four on this one. Yes, now we can finally give the Merc the best insight in an ethereal thresher that he's ever seen. 17? 235, five on the crit. I think we leave it for now, but I'll definitely re-roll this in the future because the amount of times that I've murdered Miz, he deserves it. Another decent base drops 51 runs later. Wow. 
That is one hell of a flickering flame base. Three volcano, two fissure. That's beautiful. It would be a lot more powerful if it was in an antler base though. This was followed by a unique ring on run 778. Ooh, hello. I'm not feeling good about this one. Wisp, oh, Wisp with 20 lightning absorb. Wow, I have never been more wrong in my life. This is the best Wisp projector I've ever found. It's a good thing that Wisp rolled well, because after that, it took over 100 runs to find our next noteworthy drop. But the dry streak was eventually broken on run 889. Oh, death fathom again. So it rolls 15 to 30 on the coal damage. Oh, no. Oh, no, you hate to see it. <laughs> Thankfully, two more drops came in incredibly quick succession afterwards. Oh, oh, Maroon. Yes. Oh, yes. I was just feeling so salty. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Almost 900 runs, no high rune. And this is the perfect high rune. Because in weapons, 50% ED. So we can chuck this in the wind force and then we can chuck our jewel into something else. And then all we need is a low rune. And then, and then finally, we can absolutely shred chaos with a Boazon. That's the plan, that's the vision. All right, so I didn't exactly follow this plan, but before the video ends, we do put that armor into good use. Oh, 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 I'm rooted into Metal Grid. Oh, damn. I just can't miss right now. While munching on some burger rings on run 926, we finally found the final piece of our single player enigma. Oh, no way. Oh, yes. Mareem is just a little fucking clout chaser, man. He always wants to get into the video. He fucking knows. He can smell it. Jar, if, bear, oh no! You hate to see it, bro. 753. Jar, gotta be kidding me. Run 954 wasn't my finest moment, but after all, I'm just a regular schmuck. So honestly, what do you expect? I said it as, oh, Grizz Griswolds. You don't see that every day. This is a rare one. It's like, not an exciting one, but it's a, wow, that's pretty good. 61.21. Gabagoo! The small charm's valuable? Wait, really? Oh, what? What the fuck? Bro! You've got to be kidding me, man. I knew it was Max. I just didn't know anyone cared. You know what I mean? Oh my god. Well, the more you know, the more you know. It's wild to think that just 64 runs ago, we'd found a grand total of zero natty high runes. Oh, yes! 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 We can make the low rune now! We can finally make the fortitude now! Yes! Oh, yes. That's amazing. Didn't get punished for rolling the death for absolutely no reason. Beautiful. There it is, bros. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Twenty-seven. But, again, here comes the cope. We got the runes in the right order. And now we can actually, we can actually shred chaos with our multi-shot bowers on. At least that's the plan. We found four Geed's Grand Charms in total, but this was the only one worth highlighting. Oh, got a 40. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. The rest is pretty shit, but it's a 40. It's a 40. With just 25 runs left to go, Unbelievably, the pit somehow still had more to offer. Oh! These goes up to 120, right? 104! 
That's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. Two more defense. Huge. This is the estimated total value of everything that I showcased in this video. I calculated the values of recent executed ladder trades on Tradery, but take them with a grain of salt. I'll put more details about how I determined the value of items, as well as some frequently asked questions in the description and pinned comment below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Putting this one together in particular took quite a lot of time, so I really appreciate you making it all the way to the end.